Luster baby, luster. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today's video is one of my most requested videos, so I am super excited to bring it to you. And what are we talking about today? Well, we are going to update my United States typeset collection together. Yes, many of you who have been longtime watchers of my channel have seen my journey as I have built my United States typeset. It is my beloved collection. It is the really my most proud piece of my collection. And today we are going to be giving it some serious updates. Now, if you don't know what a typeset is, a typeset is essentially a collection of coins that are all examples. One example of each type of coin in that set. In this case, this is a United States typeset. So it has one coin of every type of coin ever produced by the United States. Obviously there are some exceptions, but we're talking about the main coins. So this differs from a date set where you collect the same coin and you try and get every single date, right? So if you're trying to collect wheat cents, right? You would collect every single wheat cent, all different mint marks, right? All the way from 1909, all the way through 1958, right? So you'd get the 1909 S, the 1909D, the 1909P, etc., and you collect them all. That's not my favorite way to collect because I like the variety, I like the art, I like seeing a whole bunch of different coins on the same page and not the same design. But as I always say, you do you, right? And if you like typesets, great. If you don't, also that's okay. But I always like to encourage people to get into this type of collecting because it is so rewarding. Now, if you missed my last typeset update video, you gotta check it out over here because I literally took out every single coin from this album, I meticulously filmed each one and showed you up close and personal views of those coins, and I am not ready to do that again. It took me hours because you've gotta be really careful. Some of these coins are worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and I don't wanna get my uh, fingers all over them, and I don't want to scratch them, so I had to be really careful taking them all out filming them and putting them back in. So you're not missing anything, check it out in the card over here. But today, I have over a dozen coins that I am going to be putting in this album. Some of them are to upgrade, right? Some of them are coins that I already have, but are, these ones are better examples. And some are totally new and I'll be filling the holes in these albums. Now, if you guys are collectors, you know how good it feels to finally take something that was a blank space and put a coin in there. It just feels great. That is some of the most fun parts of collecting. It's that sort of completionist attitude that we just can't help, but uh, that is what we're going to be doing. So in any case, uh, enough with the jibber jabber. Let's crack into these coins and see what kind of updates we're making. All right, this is my United States typeset album. This is the Dansko brand album. Unfortunately, these are out of print for the time being, and they are relatively hard to find. Uh, you can find them on eBay every now and again for a good price, but they're likely to cost you around 50 bucks or more. Uh, I was lucky enough to snag this one for $25 at a local coin store. And again, this is, this is what we're looking at over here, right? So it has all the different designs of all the different coins. Um, on my first page, I cannot believe this, but the only one I'm missing right now is the Coronet uh, Head Half Cent. Everything else I have at least an example of. On the next page, uh, the only things I'm missing are the capped bust half dime, the shield nickel with rays, but spoiler alert, we're gonna fill that hole. The Buffalo uh, 1913, which is the variety one, uh, everything else I've got. On this page, a little bit more sparse, we've got the 20 cent piece I'm missing. Again, spoiler alert, we're gonna fill that in. Uh, the capped bust and the Liberty seated with motto uh, quarter. And then for the half dollars, I'm missing the cap bust with the reeded edge and the Liberty seated with the motto. I don't understand why, but like I have had so many of these capped bust uh, lettered edge ones over the years and I've never gotten a reeded edge one. I'm not, I guess these are, I haven't even looked at the mintages. I'm guessing those are rare, but. And then in the silver dollars section, I'm missing the Liberty seated dollars. Um, and then the last page I have complete, but see, I mean, I am making incredible progress on this collection. A lot of it thanks to your guys' help. Uh, this collection I have gotten only through grab bags, collection purchases, and trades. I have never bought a single one of these coins uh, directly like on eBay or at a coin store or something like that. My whole point of this collection is to do it the old school way, 
and also to show you guys that you can get into coin collecting and have a beautiful coin collection like this one without breaking the bank. I mean, this collection, all the ones, again, when I say I purchase collections, obviously I'm paying for them, but I'm buying them uh, for profit. So all the other coins that I sold essentially pay for these and allows me to get this stuff for free. As you can see, I've put on my glove, uh, maybe a little prematurely because we're going to be putting in some of these coins, but basically uh, I don't really use gloves all that often except when I'm handling very valuable coins or uh, one of my personal collections. All right, well, we've talked enough about this. You've seen it all before. Again, if you missed it, you can check it out in the link below and in the card in the corner. Um, but let's just get started. I've got all of these different coins over here that we're going to be putting in the album. Some of them, again, are replacing and upgrading coins that I already have, and other ones are totally new. The one we're going to start with is, of course, this guy, which is a two-cent coin. Well, you can see it fell out. Uh, this is an old holder, so that's why we're going to start with it. It is actually right over here. Check that out. In 1864, in spectacular shape, you can read all of the writing. The only thing wrong with it is that there are some scratches. It almost looks like somebody carved their initials into the top, but uh, it is in significantly better shape than the one that I currently have. So this is going to be the first one that we are going to replace. I'm going to take out the old one and show you them side by side so you can see really what kind of uh, upgrade I'm really getting. All right, let's see if I can do this. The one I have now is actually not in very good shape at all, so this is really going to be a true upgrade. Pop that one out, and then I slide in. If you've never seen one of these albums before, basically it's two panes of plastic that sandwich the coins and protect them. So let's take a look at these two different coins. This is the new one, and this is the old one. Really, really night and day. So let's pop this bad boy into the album. So I always like to sort of place it like this, and then I get my cotton glove on, and then I'm not worried about putting dangerous oils or scratches or anything like that on the coin and then I gently press it into place. And now we have just officially upgraded the first coin in my collection and that is a spectacular beauty. So proud to have that piece in my collection now. Um, and by the way, everything else that I'm taking out of this album uh, will be available for sale. So if anybody's interested, uh, drop me a line. Shoot me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com or on Instagram at thesilverpicker. All right, so that's one down. Next up, let us check out another upgrade. Okay, so again, I'm going to slow roll it a little bit, you know, save some of the best ones for last. You know, we've got some really ridiculously nice coins, so uh, you definitely want to stick around for that. Um, and if you're enjoying this video, of course, remember to hit that like button. You see, this is the thumb. It looks just like a thumbs up symbol. It's right below the video and all you have to do is click on it once. All you do is click on it once and it will make me a happy camper. All right, so we've got here, this is the Type 2 Standing Liberty Quarter. Uh, you can tell the Type 2 Standing Liberty Quarter really easily because the Type 2 has three little stars beneath the eagle. Uh, the type one does not. There's several other differences, but in this case, uh, we're looking just at those stars beneath the eagle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this out. I'm gonna compare the old ones just like before, and uh, I'll show you why I'm replacing it, and then we'll do the replacement. So by the way, whenever I'm cracking out coins just like this, I'm always very careful to make sure that the staples don't touch the coin, right? I get the staples far out of the way before I remove the coin because the worst thing that can happen is like when you've got this beautiful coin and you're so excited to get it out and put it in your album that you pull it out and you scrape the coin against those uh, staples and ruin it. So let's take a look at what we're replacing. This is the old one. It's a very nice coin, but it's dark, it's a little bit worn, and it's certainly not as nice as this guy over here. 
This guy over here is definitely, definitely nicer. It's got more detail. Um, at first, I actually thought that the old one had more detail, but that's just because it is darker, because it's dirtier, and that actually highlights some of the details better. Um, but on the rim, it's a little bit da damaged, and here you can just see that it is just a much, much clearer coin. It's a lot easier to see the details, and uh, I'm very excited to have this one in my collection. The other one's still a very nice coin. It wasn't like the uh, two-cent coin, which was, you know, such an obvious... Uh, you know, upgrade. This one's not as obvious of an upgrade, but it's still, uh, in my opinion, a pretty clear uh, improvement. So I'm going to line this baby up, press it in, and now look how much brighter that is. Just so much easier to see. You know, if I'm showing this off to friends and flipping through it, uh, they're going to be able to see this significantly better than the other one. And that's really what it's all about. This to me is like the ambassador to coin collecting, right? This album is the one that most of my friends who are not into coin collecting look at when they come to my house and just think that this is just the coolest thing ever. And uh, guess what? They're right. So, all right, next up, let's see what we've got. I've got a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I'll just give you another sneak peek. And again, like I told you to like the video, that was a pretty obvious request, but of course, hit that big old subscribe button. I mean, that big old red subscribe button is blinking at you, it's staring at you, it wants you to click on it. So please do and join the other 100,000 subscribers. That's right, I hit 100K. I'm not gonna try and make it too big of a deal about it. That is, of course, until the uh, silver play button plaque arrives and then I'll make a huge deal about it. But join the 100,000 people that have already subscribed and have some fun with us. All right, well, you know what, let's do this one. Let's do this one. You know, this one's, this one's been winking at me, all right? This one is a 1876 Carson City motto. And it has the motto on there. And you can see here below the eagle, we've got CC, Carson City. That's the most desired, most coveted of all mint marks in all US coins. So let's get us to the quarter page. We're over here and we can see that we are filling a hole. That's right, we are filling a hole, baby. Over here, we've got the Liberty Seated No Motto. As you can see here, there is no ribbon above the eagle, but here, there is indeed a ribbon above the eagle. So that's the difference with the No Motto versus the Motto. Tomato, No Motto, Tomato. And here we are. So we're gonna be putting this guy right in here. It's not in like the greatest shape, but this came in a grab bag from one of my patrons. Thank you very much, you know who you are. Um, and I mean, this is just bananas, right? 1876 Carson City. So this one, again, being very, very careful not to scrape the coin. So you, look how easy it would be to scrape the coin right now if I pulled the coin out. So you gotta get the staples far away, bent away from the coin, and then you can pull it out. Wow, look at that. Really, really nice. Holy cow, I love the reverse of these seated coins. Love it, just super cool, super iconic. Can't beat that. All right, let us get this pane of plastic out of the way. Situate this bad boy over here. You can see 1866 to 1891. This is indeed the 1876. And there we go. It's, it's in. It is inside. It is protected. And now we just need to put our little plastic over it. Bada bing, bada boom. Huh, doesn't that look great? Holy cow. All the seated quarters complete. Now we just need the capped bust and we are set with literally every quarter in the series. All right, next up, we're gonna move a little faster now. We have another quarter over here. This one is an upgrade. You can see here it's a 1915 Barber Quarter. It's not a particularly great date, but it is a really nice example. Most of the, the circulated quarters that you get from the Barber era are just really, really slick. I mean, the one I have in here, you can see, is the best one that I've ever got from buying collections, right? Which is not to say much. I mean, the rim and edge are all messed up. The rim is totally worn down on this one. The edge has a little bit of a ding on it. This one is just so much nicer. All right, let's get this out. 
For the next ones, you already know the drill, right? So I'm going to just compare them and then I'll put them in, but uh, you know, I'll do some uh, fancy editing uh, until then. Old one, new one. You can see it's night and day, right? Night and day. All right. Press this guy in. Sometimes you don't have to put the glove on. By the way, if you're interested in getting uh, a, a pack of uh, cotton gloves like these, you can find it in my Amazon link down below. Definitely worth it. It's like 10 bucks for a pack of them and it will definitely help preserve your coin collection. All right, next up. Wow, look at that beauty. 1891 Seated Liberty Dime. Really nice condition. Let's see what we've got over here. What do we have in the collection already? I know I have all the dimes, so I know I already have it, but which one are we replacing? We are replacing the 1891, which is this guy right over here. Now, this one is the legend, right? Again, it says United States of America around Lady Liberty. Uh, in this one, it has arrows next to the date and stars around it. And this one just has stars around it. So this one is the one with the motto. So let's uh, crack it open. Hmm, so I wonder which one is the good one, right? Well, of course, this is the new one and it is replacing this very, very worn one. Again, these are not like either of them, like amazing, amazing shape, but clearly, especially in the reverse, look, this one's got crud and gunk all over. It's very worn. This one is significantly nicer. So let's put that guy in and give him a new home in my collection. And who knows, someday maybe I'll be saying the same thing about this one, right? Someday this one will also be, uh, you know, the old guy and being replaced with a new young whippersnapper that is in better condition. But for now, that's, that's the journey. That's the beauty of collecting, right? You're always upgrading. It's a lifelong journey. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Now, the next one we're replacing is this 1904 uh, Indian head scent. It's kind of dirty. It's not in great shape. I'm actually shocked that this is the best one that I've, uh, that I've had, but we're going to be replacing it with this guy, which is a full Liberty, which means it has the word Liberty fully visible on the headdress. You can see that probably even through the plastic. And uh, this one even has a little bit of copper toning still left. So let's open this guy up. Definitely, definitely an upgrade. 100% for sure. And it's a little bit older. I always like when I can replace, you know, an old coin with an even older one, even though this is only one year difference, it is still a little bit, wee bit, tiny bit older, and therefore, to me, more interesting. Nice, and a lot easier to see. Again, all of this is about presentation, it's about upgrading so that it is more enjoyable to look at, and you can really reap the benefits of having a typeset in the first place. Next up, we're replacing this guy with this guy. Now, this is an easy one, right? This is pretty easy. The uh, steel scent that I have right now, this is the 1943 steel scent, is just pretty worn. It's in better shape than a lot of the ones you find, but you see I'm not even handling it with a glove because it's just not necessary. But this one, this one still has some mint luster. You can tell that it has not been dipped or altered in any way. It is just a really, really nice example, a really nice specimen. So we're gonna put this guy in there. This one's not that exciting, so you know we're not going to uh, spend too much time on it but uh, it is indeed an upgrade, so we're going to put it in. Looks even nicer outside of the two by two. How nice is that? Look at that, look at that luster. Hoo wee, luster baby, luster. All right, look at that. This whole row has gotten such a facelift. Look at that. We've got this beautiful uh, steel scent and we've got this beautiful two cent piece. Wow, really, really nice. Now here we have our first example of a coin that I already had that was in excellent condition. This is the one that was inside my album. And I actually am not 100% sure if this one is worse than the one that I am planning on replacing it with. So we are going to take a look and see if this guy is better or not. So let's crack it out of the plastic and do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So this is it. I think it is, yeah, look at that luster. Look at that luster.
Yep, the one on the right is the new one. That is unquestionably nicer. We are putting that guy in there. The other one is still really nice. I'm sure it's going to uh, end up in someone else's typeset. It's been in mine for quite a while because it is so nice. Trying really hard not to uh, get even the slightest fingerprint on it. Get the glove on and lightly press it into place. Nice, look at that. That is sweet. I actually don't love Jefferson Nichols. I don't love the design, but having them nice and shiny at least is a, is a benefit. Okay, okay, we've got, we've got an interesting situation here. I was about to say that we we're gonna do our last replacement before we move on to uh, you know, filling some more holes with some of the really, really nice specimens. This is an absolutely spectacular Seated Liberty half dollar from 1843. And I'm looking to see, okay, did I fill another hole here? And I realized, no, this is 1866 to 1891, so this can't possibly fit. So it must actually be this guy over here, which is the 1839 to 1865. And I was a little disappointed because this one's also really nice, and I wasn't doing much of an upgrade. But then I realized something. What's that date right there? Can you see? What's the date on this coin? The date on this coin is 1875. It can't possibly be here. I had this in the wrong slot the entire time because I saw the stars and I read no motto and I actually thought that it was referring to saying United States of America as opposed to on the reverse having the motto in that little ribbon, the little ribbon above the eagle. In this case, this one has no ribbon, right? There's no ribbon above the eagle. So what I'm actually doing is replacing this into its appropriate slot over here and putting this beauty over here and finishing off the Seated Liberty half dollars. So that is absolutely amazing. I am super, super excited about that because I did not expect that. And it feels like now, instead of having just gotten one amazing coin, I actually feel like I have gotten two coins. That's really what it feels like. It feels like I've gotten two coins now. So, okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the old one in its appropriate place, because it is indeed the coin with the motto. Ah, oh, look at that. It sits perfectly right next to her sister over here. And now, huh, look at this. Tell me what you think this would grade at. Really, tell me what you think. If you are good at grading, if you are somebody that really knows their stuff, look at that. You saw this come in my last purchase video. Super, super, super nice. Somebody told me they thought, a bunch of people com commented and said they thought this was cleaned. Look, I won't say that I am the most knowledgeable numismatist on YouTube. I'm not. There are some people that are way more knowledgeable than I am, but I really do not think that this was cleaned. Um, to me, I still see some uh, mint luster peeking through. I see a nice patina. This does not have the hallmarks of a cleaned coin to me. But uh, if you think that it was cleaned, please tell me why. What, are the, what is the evidence? In any case, let's put this bad boy in to its appropriate slot. Line it up. Lightly press with the glove, of course. And protect it with the sliding plastic window. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. This is a video for the real hardcore coin collectors, of course. I know that you guys are salivating over this stuff, and uh, most of the other folks who are here just for the silver content probably turned off the video already, but if you're still watching and you're a silver stacker, give coin collecting a chance too. It is such a wonderful sort of offshoot uh, of precious metals investing. What an amazing, amazing hobby. Look how beautiful this is. All right, next, next up. Now we are moving in to just straight up filling some of these holes. And this is a shield nickel. And the shield nickel has two different varieties. You can see here on the back, there are little stars surrounding the number five and also little lines or what we call rays. Now this one is the one with stars and rays. And this one just has stars. So we are going to finally get this first nickel. This is the first nickel that was called a nickel. Previous nickels were just five cent coins and they were called half dimes because they were silver. So 
It's just a little tidbit. I bet everyone watching this already knew that though, because you guys are the hardcore numismatists. I know who's watching these videos. Okay, got to make sure again that we don't scrape the coin against any of the staples. Now this one, of course, is not in amazing shape, but you can read the date, you can see all the features really, really nicely, and this is going to be a great coin that will probably be here for several years until I replace it with something nicer. Wow. It really just feels so good to get one of these holes filled uh, and just be able to see the beauty coin, the beautiful coin sitting there and just getting closer and closer to completing the first version of this collection. I say first version because this is a lifelong venture. This is something that I'm constantly going to be upgrading, right? Like these coins are not particularly beautiful, uh, even though I'm very happy with them. You know, they're not like mint state or AU or anything like that. So once I have a full set, then I'll just start focusing on upgrading uh, or move on to other projects as well. But, you know, for now, some of these, like, it's unlikely that I'm going to replace this what we just put in, right? We just put this... Uh, war nickel it's in it's really in ms condition so this is probably never getting replaced same thing with uh this mercury dime probably never going to get replaced but you know this uh liberty nickel right this liberty nickel probably will be replaced relatively soon you know this this uh seated dime has a hole right she's got a hole right through her head so that's definitely going to get replaced so it's a journey it's a journey all right now i'm going to show you one coin that we're actually not going to be putting in the album even though I would like to, right? It's this, this beauty, which I got in another video a few weeks ago. It is a Seated Liberty uh, quarter from 1861. It is absolutely beautiful. And it is of course in significantly, significantly better condition than this, uh, you know, where, there, where we go. There we go. This ratty old, uh, you know, uh, Seated Liberty that you can barely see because it's so dark. Now, I do want to replace it, but this coin is in such spe spectacular condition that I really think I'm going to get it graded. And if it comes back, you know, uh, <clears throat> cleaned or it comes back, uh, you know, some other problem coin, I'll probably crack it out and put it in here uh, in any case. But I think this is worth giving it a shot and uh, getting this bad boy graded because this could be really worth a significant amount of money if it grades out at uh, a really high mint state grade. So let's... Uh, put this off to the side. Just wanted to show you that and explain why it's not going in my collection, or I should say not going in my typeset. But we are up to the last coin. The last coin, the one that I am absolutely most excited for of all of these, and that is, of course, the 20 cent silver. I am obsessed with obsolete denominations. I love the two cent coins. I love the three cent coins. I love the half dimes. And the 20 cent piece is possibly the oddest one of all. And now I am the proud owner. Thank you so much to the patron who gave this to me. This was in a grab bag exchange. You can check it out on my channel, but you know who you are. Thank you so, so much. I am so excited to put this guy in here. Um, so let's crack it out. I'm gonna be extra careful, so I'm gonna do it off camera. And she's out. Lady Liberty can breathe again. We're going to put her right in here. Again, I will do one more impassioned pledge to ask you all to hit the subscribe button. If not for me, do it for Lady Liberty. Do it for Lady Liberty. Do it for freedom. Do it for America, right? No, I'm just kidding. Just do it because you will get a lot of awesome coin and precious metals content if you do subscribe. So that's it. We did it. Take a look. Let me go zoom out a little bit and take you on a mini tour just to see what we have done. Not a minotaur, a mini tour. So, just so I remember, we replaced the steel scent over here. We replaced the Indian head scent over here. We replaced the two cent piece over here, all with significantly better versions. We added a brand new coin over here, this shield nickel, was just an empty, lonely little hole before, and now we have a shield nickel with rays sitting there proudly. We have the 35% silver war nickel that is now in obscenely spectacular condition. We have the new, new and improved Lady Liberty, Seated Liberty with Legend dime sitting right over here. 
We have, of course, the coveted 20 cent piece, which we just replaced a moment ago. We have the Standing Liberty Quarter and the Barber Quarter, which we replaced. The quarters got a significantly fa significant facelift. We had this incredible uh, coincidence and mix up here with this coin being sitting here and this coin sitting here and replacing it and yada, 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 you know the drill. I am super stoked about that, love it. And we didn't do much on these pages, but that is okay because again, I've said it 10,000 times already, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So if you enjoyed seeing me replace these coins with the beauties in here, then come back, stick around for a while, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and join me, because I make new videos about coin collecting, precious metals investing, personal finance, alternative investments, and even cryptocurrency, all without a tinfoil hat. I'm not an extremist here. I'm just trying to introduce you to new ways where you can make a little bit of extra money on your own terms and have a lot of fun learning about history and geography and the joys of numismatics all the while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, well, that's, uh, that's your loss, isn't it? Well, in any case, I really do hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned because we've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. And until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. I literally could not have done this video without you, and I am so proud to have you guys as part of the Silver Picker Squad. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the links are below, and we would love to have you. I'll see you in the Discord.